This is live webcam footage of the Kilauea volcano. This is via USGS.gov. I read several comments where some webcams were taken down. And if that's the case, these ones are available for you to look at now. I've got two different viewpoints I'm going to share with you. And you can see it's not too intense. I see the calm before the storm, especially after a couple of articles that I pulled up via Google search. Kilauea Volcano is what I typed in. There's an SOS alert right now because of volcanic activity in Hawaii. An SOS alert. CNN.com, Trump declares a major disaster in Hawaii after volcanic eruptions. Hawaii braces for major volcano eruption, prepares for possible evacuations. That came out just an hour ago via USA Today. So what do they know that we don't? And is the media really being told in certain areas like California and Hawaii to be kept silent on certain subjects like the CSZ zone, the Cascadia subduction zone? Now that goes from northern Vancouver all the way to California. It's about 600 or so miles. If there is an earthquake, if there is a rift, there is a connection from the volcanic activity in Hawaii that will link to this CSZ zone, this fault zone, an earthquake that would cause it to split, then within a matter of minutes, we could see a uh, you know, multitudes of tidal waves like wave after wave after wave after wave, literally land splitting apart. And with all the, uh, the population out there now, millions and millions and millions of people along the, the coastal cities, it would be a disaster. Last time that happened was in 1700. It's happened at least seven times over the past 3,500 years, some say more. And some experts say we're overdue. Some experts say we've got a couple hundred more years before we need to think about it. So regardless... Hawaii is not getting a break, and they're having to deal with some, some very difficult times right now. Now, let's go back here. I want to refresh this. You can see the timestamp there. This is from nine minutes ago. Nine minutes ago. And while you're looking at this, I want to give a huge shout-out to our sponsors. Not only does Leak Project have the coolest listeners and the most intelligent listeners and commenters and subscribers, but we also have the best sponsors. Everybody needs a halo. You need a halo, right? Look at this thing. You see how bright that is? Is that not ridiculous? It's supposed to be one of the brightest flashlights in the world, and it's the brightest flashlight I've ever seen. It's built like a tank. Pick these things up for pretty cheap right now, and put one of these things in your bob bag, in your bug out bag. Also... I don't know if you've heard about CBD oil, but this stuff right here, I have an amazing new sponsor. This stuff is awesome. Now, I've heard so many people talk about all the features and benefits. I'm like, really? So I tried it. I love it. I think this stuff is great. It tastes delicious. This is the blueberry. It is naturalhempoil.com. I'm just going to take a drop right now. Ooh, love this stuff. So, okay. Now, let's go. I want to show you another view as well. I'll leave a link, too. You'll get a 10% discount for being a Leak Project listener. If you're a veteran, first of all, thank you for your service. You'll get a 15% discount. See what all the, uh, all the craze is about. Check it out. Hawaii's Volcanoes National Park. This is nps.gov. This is another viewpoint of the Kilauea Volcano. This is the Halima Uma U Crater. Hopefully I said that right. This is looking southwest. If you want to look at more webcams, you just click that right here. You can click by region. So if we're going to Hawaii, boom, right there. There you have it. Now, this is showing you that the temperature is about 932 degrees in there right now, Fahrenheit, Kilauea Volcano Summit. This is the thermal HD. Let me see if I can refresh this real quick. Here we go. This was just from six minutes ago. Looks pretty exciting. Now, if we go to Air Now... Environmental Protection Agency. They really love us. This will show you the air quality on the Big Island. You can see it's either good or moderate. Good or moderate. That's good. Good to hear. And then also, these are a couple of days old, but this shows you the fissure maps. So in Kilauea East Rift Zone, you can see right here, this is from two days ago. This will just give you an idea as well. 
This is the warning issued. This is USGS Friday, May 11th. This is from yesterday. Warning. Orange. Warning. Orange. Earthquake activity in the summit remains elevated. Many of these earthquakes are related to the ongoing activity of the summit area and earthquakes beneath the south flank of the volcano. So also a number there you can call. Right now I'm listening to Carpenter Brute. Very interesting song. Pretty good. I don't know if you've ever heard it before. Via Pandora. Bang! Alert, alert, warning. Bang! Thing's so cool. Feel like a tank, too. And check this out. Another thing I got from these guys. You gotta have one of these, too. See this right here? Let's push a button. Look at this. Ding. Ding. <laughs> Put this in your car, right? Got an idea? Bingo. Thank goodness. Thank goodness I'm not on the West Coast right now. I would not want to be in Los Angeles or San Francisco or Anaheim or Portland or Seattle or anywhere on the West Coast. If the CSC acts up or if there's a tidal wave. Now, last time this happened in 1700, there was, I mean, just tidal wave after tidal wave after tidal wave. And they said that the Vancouver Island could have split like in a matter of parts of the Vancouver Island could have split in a matter of minutes, like five minutes. How wild is that? You imagine like you're right there on the coast. You're, you're getting ready to go surf a wave or you're surfing a wave and then all of a sudden just boom. That would be like the ultimate wave. Surf on, dudes. Be excellent to each other. Be the change you want to see.